Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Thursdays with Ramdev. And today I'd like to talk about opening the heart mind. In Sanskrit, the word for heart and the word for mind is the same word, chit, chit. There's not the heart and there's the mind. In some way, the mind is the surface of the heart. The heart is the depth of the mind. And a lot of our practice is about working with what blocks the open heart mind. We have compassion for what blocks us. We become aware of what blocks us. There's also the practice of simply diving into the heart. Uh, and in some very deep way, what we're talking about here is really having a relationship with the mother. In Hindu Tantra, all form, matter, energy, thought, everything is the mother. And to open the heart mind is receiving the mother, devouring this earth in the sense of not getting lost in it, realizing that it's all the form of the mother. Maharaji said, until you understand the mother, you won't be able to become enlightened. You won't be able to really find God. He even told me that my practice was to see everybody, to see all women, to see all people as the mother. So can we open to this sense that everything around us is sacred, everything is something that can be loved. Not just the good stuff, not just the bad stuff, but all of the stuff. Marion Woodman, the wonderful Canadian psychoanalyst said, where you are wounded, there God can enter in. So that instead of trying to push away those places, is it possible to actually use our deepest woundedness as the cracking open of our armor and allow God to fill us at that at that that place in our character structure, opening to whatever is arising. It all being the mother is a very comforting thought. The mother, of course, isn't always happy and friendly and nice. Sometimes the mother's collie, sometimes the mother is ferocious. But what we're talking about is, can we keep opening, keep opening, and allow ourselves to be simple? going beyond trying to fix things, going beyond trying to understand things, realizing that, the, that the, the deepest practice, the only practice that's necessary is completely opening our hearts to God, to ourselves, to each other, to the Dharma, to the earth itself. And when in fact the heart is open, the blessing that is always available, the grace, the love will begin to fill us. Can we do that in this moment? no matter what it is that's going on, is that radical surrender into opening, that radical surrender into love possible? It is, it is right now. I love you.